Others are expressing their outrage after Wednesday's deadly terrorist attack on a major museum in Tunis. Hundreds of protesters gathered there Thursday vowing to defeat terrorism on their soil. European leaders are pledging their support for Tunisia, the nation that kicked off the Arab Spring four years ago, sparking sweeping changes across North Africa and the Middle East. Uh, Viewers Ladisa Hoke has our report. Protesters unfurled a huge Tunisian flag in front of the Bardo Museum and chanted messages condemning the killing of innocent people. Killing people this way, whatever their ideas are, is really terrible and unacceptable. The terrorist group Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attack that left 23 people dead. In a recorded message, a male voice says the attack is only the beginning of what is yet to come. At the funeral of a police officer slain in the attack, Tunisian officials said the nation is determined to eradicate terrorism. We will overcome it. We will eradicate terrorism. We are confident. The support of the people is the proof. Most of those killed were visitors from Japan and Europe. European Union leaders meeting Thursday in Brussels held a minute of silence in honor of the dead and pledged to support Tunisia. The people of Tunisia and especially the young people of Tunisia have to know that European Union is fully with them to give them a future of hope, uh, a future uh, full of, uh, uh, we hope, good uh, things, not violence. In Paris, protesters gathered outside the Tunisian embassy Thursday in a show of solidarity with the former French colony. We need to convey the message to the terrorists that we are not afraid. We are still standing. Tunisian women and men are still standing. Congratulations to the police force and the soldiers. French President François Hollande praised Tunisia as a model of successful transition to democracy after the Arab Spring. He said Interior Minister Bernard Cazeneuve has been dispatched to Tunis to discuss how France can help. I sent the Interior Minister. He will be in Tunisia tomorrow so we can further strengthen our cooperation in terms of security because in the fight against terrorism, we must be exemplary. The United States also offered support to the North African country. In a phone call to his Tunisian counterpart, Beji Kaid Essebi, President Barack Obama commended the Tunisian people for their commitment to standing strong and united in the face of terrorism. His spokesman expressed U.S. support earlier. They obviously uh, live in a very volatile, even dangerous part of the world right now. Uh, and uh, we certainly are interested in doing what we can to try to support uh, the Tunisian government and the Tunisian people as they confront this threat. The attack on a major cultural attraction in Tunis is a blow to Tunisia's tourism. Prime Minister Habib Essid said security has been boosted in all major cities and the borders of the Mediterranean country. Several suspects have been arrested in connection with the attack. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.